Okay, Mickey, I know a lot of folks around southern Indiana are really happy to see uh, one of baseball's all-time greats visiting. Uh, about yourself, I know that uh, you had many, many good years in baseball, and uh, it'd probably be hard for you to pick which one was your best. Uh, c can you do that? Can you, can you tell when you, you felt like you were at the peak of your career? I think probably it'd have to be starting about 1954 and going uh, through 59. Although in 1961, you know, is when Roger hit his 61 home runs, I hit 54 that or six, yeah, 54 that year. So it would it would probably be like from uh, 54 to 61. I know that uh, I can't remember if it's 56 or 57 when you were most valuable player and you you also got the triple crown. Uh, was that a more satisfying year for you, or was it maybe uh, in the early 60s, coming off a couple of off years when you when you came back and turned in a Good my, season. My uh, my best year uh, was 1956. Like when I, I led the triple crown, I think I led the league in, all, in about five off, offensive de departments that year, and uh, that would have had to be my best year because I hadn't really proven. You know, before when I when I first came to New York, they said I was going to be another Joe DiMaggio, and I hadn't really proven that I could yet. And I think that that gave me the confidence to go ahead and have good years after that. I know everybody probably asks you this. Uh, do you miss baseball? Do you miss not playing? Well, sure, I miss. I miss it a lot. Uh, I I still dream that I'm trying to make a comeback all the time. You know, I, like last night, I, I woke up three or four times trying to run to first base and didn't make it. You know, <laughs> but I miss it. I I, I love to play baseball when I was healthy, and uh, I wish I still could. But it's over with. I know you see a lot of a lot of ball players like Yaz and uh, Gaylord Perry, and some of them are approaching 40 years old. Do you do you feel like if if you you stayed healthy, if your knees had held out? You would have liked to have gone on that far, or do you think you, you quit at a good time? Well, I quit because I had to quit, not because I wanted to. Uh, I was through. My legs had uh, just really gone. I couldn't hit left-handed anymore, and uh, I couldn't run from home to or from first to third on singles. I couldn't score from second on a single, or from first on a double. Yeah. Okay. We'll just ask another question. Mickey, how about today's ball players? Is there any big difference? Has baseball changed very much over the years? Well, Doug, the question a lot of people ask me, how come there's no superstars anymore? And I like to explain it by saying that I think today's young guys are all so good. You know, they're so big and strong and uh, can throw the ball so hard. They're all so evenly matched that I don't think there'll ever be another guy stand out. You know, I think they're just all too good. Do you think that uh, guys like Dave Parker and those kind of guys can uh, achieve some of the things that guys like yourself and Willie Mays did earlier? Well, uh, Dave Park, for, for example, has already made more money in one year than I did in 18, so he's already achieved more than I did. <laughs> okay, Mickey, appreciate it. Thank you. I thought that was great. I got the letter and appreciated it. And Cameraman, I, he got down on the ground. He said, I said, well, they're going to think I spit right in that thing. And I, I unloaded on it right off to the side. But it was good. Terry, how you doing? Good. Good. Glad to be on the ground. Tell me how you feel about last season. You feel like you accomplished a lot of things you weren't doing yeah, before the yeah, season started? So. Well, I didn't really know what, didn't know what to move Didn't know what the... Just flew in from Nashville, and uh, we're going to pursue the country music. And, uh, there's a lot of things we're looking into, but uh, right now we're here to chew red man tobacco. <laughs> red man tobacco. See, we're here to promote the world's greatest chewing tobacco. The world's greatest? The world's greatest. That's it right there, I think. Anyway, that's what I, I'm here for. Here with my boy Ralph Ring and those bunch of Pinkerton. I love this. This is fun. Is there anything you can do next year to top this season? Is there anything you'd like to do other than you did this year? Win it again. That'd be fun. Make it, you know, the most important thing each year is, is that when the season's over with, to go home healthy. And I would, the good Lord bless me this season. I was able to go home healthy. That's the most important thing. Is to make it through a season and, and to come home physically. One more thing real quick. What about the violence in football? Like Jack Ham said, he thinks maybe quarterbacks should wear dresses. You think that was Jack Lambert. He'd say Jack that Lambert. if they had dresses on. <laughs> but uh, 
that's not much you can do. It's a violent game. It's a rough game. And I like to see it the way it is. I don't want to see them changing things to take away from the excitement, the charisma that the game itself brings. It's a tough game. It's a contact sport. And it was designed to be that. And uh, you go changing it now, and you're going to you're fooling around with a lot of a lot of history, a lot of years of history, and uh, America's number one sport. And, uh, I think you ought to leave it alone. The players ought to get in better shape. Who's <laughs> choosing? I got to go tour okay. plant. Listen, thanks, thanks a lot. lot. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Woo. The end.